Hello my lovelies, it's Susanna, and today I want to show you how to work with orthogonal vectors. We're going to take a look at three different problems together regarding this topic. The first one is to find out whether two vectors are orthogonal to each other or not. The second problem then is to find three different vectors that are orthogonal to a given vector. And the last problem then is to find a vector that is orthogonal to two given vectors. But let's start with the basics. Are the vectors orthogonal to each other or not? Okay, so we want to figure out whether these vectors, so let's call this vector A, this vector B, B, whether they are orthogonal to each other, so they have this 90 degree angle here between them or not. And there is an easy way to find this out. We only have to find the dot product of our two vectors. So we have to find A dot B and if this result is going to be equal to zero, then we immediately know that our two vectors are orthogonal to each other. If this result here is not going to be zero, so let's say you get a result of two, for example, then you know your vectors are not orthogonal to each other. That's all we have to do. So let's find the dot product of our two vectors, two, negative one, four, dot 6, 4, negative 2. How do we find the dot product? We multiply the coordinates, so 2 times 6 first, and then we always add the product of the next coordinate. So we take the negative 1 times 4 next, and then we add the same thing with the last coordinate. We have 4 times and here we have a negative 2. And now we only have to calculate this. 2 times 6 equals 12. Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. So we get a result of 2 minus 4 equals 8 and 8 minus 8 equals 0. Oh, who would have thought this, that the result is going to be 0? So we know our two vectors are orthogonal to each other. Next problem. Find three vectors that are orthogonal to vector A. So this time we are given only one vector and we have to find another vector actually three other vectors, that are orthogonal to this one. So let's start with one vector. How can I find a vector that is orthogonal to a given vector? You can always set one of the coordinates zero. So let's say we choose the first coordinate and set it to zero. Then you go to your vector and take the other coordinates and switch them. So we have the negative 3 here and the negative 2 here. I take the negative 2 and put it as my second coordinate. And I take the negative 3 and I put it here as my last coordinate. This is not yet the result. We still have to do one little thing. From these numbers that we've written down here, we have to choose one of them and change the sign of this number. So either you choose the negative 2 and make it a positive 2, or you pick the negative 3 and make this number a positive 3. Whatever you choose, let's uh, go with a 3 here. So we have a positive 3 here, and now this vector is automatically orthogonal to this one. Want to check? We know now how to do it, right? We want to find the dot product of these two vectors. So we multiply the coordinates 5 times 0 first. Then we add the same with the second coordinate, negative 3 times negative 2 and then we add the product of the last coordinates. We have negative 2 times 
three and this hopefully equals zero. Here we have zero. Negative three times negative two equals six and negative two times three equals negative six. So yeah, good. The result is zero. So our two vectors here are indeed orthogonal to each other. But this was not yet everything. This was just one vector. We have to find two more. So how can we find another vector now that is orthogonal to this one? With the same method, but we don't choose the first coordinate to be equal to zero. We just pick the second coordinate and make the same things with the other coordinates now. So the 5 and the negative 2, what did we do? We switched the numbers, so we take the negative 2 here and the 5 goes down here. But don't forget to change the sign of one of these numbers now. I usually make the negative numbers positive, so instead of the negative 2 we have a positive 2. You can check again with the dot product if these vectors are orthogonal to each other should be the case. And then we find a third one with the same method. This time we set the last coordinate zero and we switch the other two coordinates. So we take the five and put it in the middle and we take the negative three and write it here on top. And then we change the signs of one of the numbers. So the negative three, yeah, let's make this positive. You could also make the positive three, uh, five negative if you want to, but I prefer positive numbers. So I choose this and these are three different vectors that are orthogonal to this vector here. Last problem. Find a vector that is orthogonal to vector A and vector B. So this time we are given two vectors and we have to find a new vector that is orthogonal to both of these vectors. So let's say I have my vector A here and this is my vector B. These two don't have to be orthogonal to each other, so they could be any angle alpha between them. But our new vector that we want to find, let's call this vector C, this has to be orthogonal to my vector A and at the same time orthogonal to my vector B. How can I find such a vector? Well, I can find my vector C by just taking the cross product of my two vectors. This will always automatically give me a new vector that is automatically orthogonal to both of my vectors that I used for the cross product. So let's take my first vector and cross it with my second vector. How can I find the cross product. There is a trick. You just take your vector and write it down here again and you do the same with this vector. You take this and write all the coordinates here again. Then you delete the first uh, line and the last line and then you do the following. We multiply here our first coordinate diagonal with the second coordinate here. So we take the negative 1 and multiply it by the negative 2. Then you always subtract and then we multiply here the diagonal 4 times 4. This is going to be my first coordinate. Then the second coordinate, the same with the next diagonals here. 4 times 6 first, then always a minus, and then we multiply this diagonal 2 times negative 2. And then the same with the last coordinate, we multiply this diagonal 2 times 4, always a minus, and then this diagonal here, the negative 1 
times the 6. Now let's calculate this. The first coordinate, negative 1 times negative 2 equals 2 minus 16. Second coordinate, 24 plus 4. And last coordinate, the 8 here, uh, plus the 6. So in total, we get a vector with the coordinates. Negative 14. 28 and 14 and this vector here is automatically orthogonal to these two vectors here. I hope it helped you. If you have any questions please let me know in the comments. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care!